antimicrobial resistance amr occurs when microorganisms such as bacteria viruses fungi and parasites change in ways that render the medications they cause ineffective hence we need new antibiotics the development of novel new antimicrobials face significant scientific regulatory clinical and economic challenges and several organizations are currently working towards addressing them major issue is adequate evaluation of the antibiotics particularly by payers and or health technology assessment hta bodies to take account of antimicrobial resistance amr and reflect the full benefit provided to patients and society two key challenges regarding to hta bodies are first one clinical trials typically designed to demonstrate non inferiority non inferiority means the test product is not worse than the comparator by more than a small pre specified amount but whereas hta bodies generally require demonstration of clinical superiority and the second challenge is hta bodies do not have a mechanism to evaluate the health benefits of antibiotics and control the rising antimicrobial resistance why do we need additional elements of value for antibiotics the first point is that amr is a public health priority the rise of amr is recognized as a serious global and urgent threat and control of this threat is a priority for leading national and international organization current hta methods in general do not exactly accounts for the value of reducing this public health threat for example of the insurance value of having a treatment available in case of a future major or rapidly escalating problems of resistance the second point is that diverse set of non inferior antibiotics is valuable to society because of increasing amr there is a value in developing a new antibiotic for mdr multiple drug resistant pathogens even if it is no more effective than existing antibiotics in treating susceptible non resistant pathogens since it enables diverse prescribing patterns This concept is unique to antibiotics and is not explicitly considered by HTA bodies. Third one, non-clinical and microbiology data are important for demonstrating the value of antibiotics.
ഫോർ ആൻറ്റിബയോട്ടിക്സ് നോൺ ക്ലിനിക്കൽ ഡാറ്റ ആൻഡ് മൈക്രോബയോളജി ഡാറ്റ ക്യാൻ ബി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പ്രിഡിക്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഔട്ട്കംസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റി ഇൻ കണ്ടക്റ്റിംഗ് ക്ലിനിക്കൽ ട്രയൽസ് ഫോർ ആൻറ്റിബയോട്ടിക്സ് ഫോർ എം ഡി ആർ പാത്തോജൻസ് ഹാസ് ലീഡ് റെഗുലേറ്റേഴ്സ് ടു അസെപ്റ്റ് these alternative types of evidence as part of the approval process for antibiotics have benefit that go beyond the patient treated when one patient is treated with and antibiotics this reduces the spread of the infectious disease this benefit in the population fifth point antibiotics enable other type of treatment and procedures apart from treating infectious infections antibiotics also reduce the risk of associated with other type of treatment such as surgery and chemotherapy